Well, hello everybody. Welcome to Red Toolhouse. Uh, today's video is a subject that's not immune to controversy. There is some uh, debate about this, and that is, should you put lights in your chicken coop in the winter time to keep egg production up? So let's talk about that. <clears throat> You're free, chickens. I'm not coming out in this crap. I don't blame you. I wouldn't either. So what are the pros and what are the cons to adding light? Well, you may ask, well, Troy, if you don't understand why you why this is even a discussion, obviously if you put light out, artificial light, in the roosting area of your chickens in the wintertime, their egg production can still be maintained to some degree. There's, um, obviously as, a, as a, <laughs> the days get shorter, uh, the chickens uh, were made to obviously stop laying eggs in the wintertime. And naturally they wouldn't be able to raise their young in those harsh those harsh climates. So it, by adding artificial light, you can kind of trick their bodies into thinking, hey, it's still a warm season or a season worth uh, laying eggs for. So the, the pros of that is you get egg production, of course. You, you're not feeding a bunch of freeloaders. You don't have a bunch of chickens that you're putting feed into on a regular basis and not getting the production back at them. The con of that, of course, is it can shorten their production cycle um, if they don't, if their bodies don't have time to rest in egg production and they're producing 12 months out of the year, then that window of egg production is just going to get uh, shorter in their life cycle. Now, probably still going to get the same number of eggs out of a chicken. Uh, so it's, do you get your eggs now or do you spread them out? So, uh, you're, you're going to have to rotate your flock, um, more frequently. I think one of the bigger concerns, uh, and especially for more northern climates, the harsher your winters are, the more this becomes an issue, is if, it, if a chicken is expending this energy, its body energy, to create eggs, then it's, it's taking from its opportunity to just stay warm during the winter time. And again, that comes back, do you heat your coop? Do you have you know, accommodations that keep uh, temperatures up for your chickens? Where we are in West Virginia, Zone 6, um, really don't have crazy harsh winters. I mean, we'll have some low temperatures, but they will last, you know, we'll get down to the negative numbers maybe seven days out of the winter at most. Uh, most of the time we're, you know, single digits, teens, that type of thing is our, is our norm. So really not that big of a deal uh, for our chickens. Uh, especially here the last several years, we had some pretty mild winters, so um, I'm not really that concerned with that. Uh, quite frankly, um, you, you probably know my bias because I'm getting ready to hang a light here and, and we're going to get that set up. So that's what we lean toward. Uh, again, we, we do rotate, rotate our chickens more often, so we do retire those uh, and bring new ones in. So uh, let's get a light hung. So the interesting thing about this is it really doesn't take that much light. If we go over here to our brooder, I've got our brooder set up inside our greenhouse chicken coop here. And this is where we have our uh, chickens that we incubated. And yes, there are still guineas in there. Uh, we still have guineas. We haven't done away with them yet. Um, but they are, you know, now a couple hundred yards from the house. <laughs> but when I had just the heat lights on in here, when, they, uh, when the chicks were much, much younger, just the heat lights hanging here, I think affected egg production because we got down to where we're having one or two and just in that short time we started to see production pick up in a in a, a couple weeks we saw you know we're getting to maybe four or five a day so also have some chickens that are molting right now too so that's why you see feathers everywhere um, so that may be affecting it too but we're gonna we're gonna hang a simple LED shop light and uh, put it on a timer and see how that goes so we already have power to the uh, greenhouse here for the fence charger that runs our poultry netting. So don't have to run power, so that's nice. And the plan is to hang this kind of over top of the roost. Don't have to get too crazy in particular, but it helps to have it close by. So I went with a uh, simple LED light, A for uh, cheapness. I think this was $10, a little shop light, 10 bucks at the uh, the big orange box store. And it's uh, obviously going to be uh, easier on the electric bill as well. Since I'm running an extension cord down here to the greenhouse, I've got about 100 and, 150 feet of extension cord. And obviously I don't want to have a uh, 
a uh, something that's going to draw a lot of amperage and cause that to be an issue with overheating blah 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 you know how it goes all right and we're going to take since we have a plethora of old 17 gauge electrical wire that's what we're going to use to stretch this turkey across the top here Okay, so just a crude uh, light hanging over the roost here. Again, we'll see if they decide to jump up there and roost on it. <laughs> but uh, wired it to the cross members of my conduit there. And instead of just hooking it up and leaving it on where it's a full-time 24-hour light, which wastes energy and to me I think it's a little hard on chickens, uh, we're going to put a um, photo eye timer on it. Let's first test to make sure it's going to work. Oh, very good. And of course, the thing you don't want to do is set your photo eye up underneath a light. So we're going to put it over here. <laughs> so I have this little simple photo. I've had this thing forever. I think I got it at Lowe's or something like that. But, um, so it has a sensor right here, under my thumb, so uh, it's just a photo eye, so once it gets dark, then the light kicks on, and then you can have it run. So you can set it to uh, two hours, so run for two hours and shut off after it goes dark, four, six, or eight, or you can even do a dusk to dawn if you wanted to have it be on all night. Again, we're not going to do that. We're going to go, it gets dark here around five, gets daylight about what 6 30 so it's just under 12 hours that's rough 12 hours need to be about 14 to 15 hours i think for chickens to uh, kick into egg laying so i think i'm just going to do plus four Ooh, got some funk in that thing <laughs> so put it on four right there and we'll plug it in two hour green extension cord which is our light just plugs in the bottom there I'm gonna plug this in here make sure we touch the electrical fence okay and I'm even going to turn that photo eye just toward the uh, toward the wall there it's pretty sensitive uh, so right now the light is off so if I put my thumb to test this if I put my thumb over the sensor and hold it Then the light comes on. It goes back off. So there we go. So once it senses darkness and it stays dark, then the light will come on and stay on for four hours. At least that's what it's supposed to do. So currently with uh, about 40 egg layers, and it is, um, what is it? It's um, November the 30th. Uh, I'm getting two to three eggs a day. <laughs> Actually, there's the chicken build nesting boxes and they don't go in the nesting box excuse me lady no you haven't laid anything yet she obviously hasn't laid anything yet so i've just got two eggs today and uh that's probably all i'm going to get since it's late in the afternoon well comment below if you agree if you like to use lights for your chickens or if you say no let them rest and uh offer some other comments as well all right take care everybody <laughs> So now once the LED light is on, it looks like the uh, chickens are down here building something. <laughs> it's like uh, they're trying to concoct some sort of escape plan. <laughs> <laughs>